Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Michael Brackney, and as always, my mission here is to educate, adjust, and inspire individuals and families toward optimal health and lifetime wellness. Today we're going to be talking about otitis media, or the earache, and the, how chiropractic and natural approaches can be very supportive and very helpful for doing that. So the very first thing we should probably talk about is how, how a chiropractor and earaches even make any sense. And the reason why is because the structure and the function of the nervous system. The nervous system controls and regulates all systems in the body. And when you regulate all systems in the body, that includes muscle tension, and that, and that muscle tension is what we're going to talk about today. If you look right here, I've got uh, my old handy picture of uh, a eustachian tube here. And when you look at that, what we can see is you've got the outside of your ear, and then you've got muscles here. And right along here, you're going to see that's the eustachian tube. So when any kind of fluids get in here, they need to drain right out here. Any kind of bacteria and garbage needs to drain right out here. And these muscles control if it's opened or closed. Have you ever been on an airplane and, and all of a sudden you're feeling that pressure? And that's because the eustachian tubes need to release. That's why if you yawn or chew gum or do different things, now the pressure can drain out those holes. But what we know is if the spine, the neck, gets out of alignment, it can cause different tension throughout the neck. And if you look over here, you can see this top bone in the neck called the atlas. And those top vertebrae can affect the muscles that allow the eustachian tube to drain. So just like if you have a tense muscle, that doesn't that a tense muscle can close up that opening and things don't drain. So for instance, if you have a bacteria that gets in there and there's some swelling and the muscles tense because of pressure up here, then what happens is bacteria can grow and grow and grow. They don't drain, they don't rinse out. Matter of fact, that causes that pressure as now now, there's more and more pressure in the ear from the, uh, the goo, the bacteria, the goblet cells are creating mucus to, because of the inflammation, because of the bacteria. The bacteria is creating its own waste. That's getting toxic. Now we have a situation where we've got the body putting up defenses, trying to rinse the bacteria out. Now there's nowhere for that bacteria to go, and now it's trying to pressurize itself out. In medical model, what they've actually done is, is that drill holes in the eardrum to let the goo get out which really doesn't solve the problem because what we need to do is take a look if in fact the neck is out of alignment, if there's tension in those muscles, when you even those muscles out, then they can drain and feel better right away. I've had many, many of kids, including my own family members, that have come into my office and we've got them a neck adjustment, we've done a little work to try and stretch that muscle out, re relax that muscle, and within moments, the earache and ear pain has gone really exciting and kids when they come in crying and squirming and they're just you know you hate to see kids in pain i really never want to see any children in pain and when we can get them relief within just a few moments and they smile actually because all of a sudden hey the pain's gone that's our goal our goal is for you to have healthy children and give you ways that you cannot have to give antibiotics for um otitis media or ear infections which is really common solution. Now the problem is, if you take an antibiotic, it's going to kill the bacteria, but it doesn't solve the problem. So even though now the antibiotics may have gotten rid of the bacteria, the next bacteria that gets in there starts to grow again. That's why we see these cycles. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but kids get cycles where, you know, they get an earache, they get an antibiotic, goes away. Wait a little bit, get another earache, get another antibiotic, goes away. Then what happens? Another earache, another antibiotic goes away. And then they start saying, well, we'll just drill holes in the ear and, and, and let, through the UU station tube and let it drain out that way. It's not solving anything. We want to get to the root cause. We want to solve it. We want to get them instant help, instant relief. Talk about all natural things. What other things can you be doing to support the nervous system? You know, are they getting their vitamin D's levels optimized? Are they taking vitamin C? Are they getting plugging of water? Are, they getting, are you checking for different allergies and different things that cause inflammation in the body? A lot of things we can do to help, but we can't help them unless we see them. So if you have a child and they're having chronic earaches, even if they don't have the earache right now, you can bring them in, we can check them out and see if they're at risk of repeating that cycle. 
And if they're in the middle of an earache cycle, we'll see them. And that is also a way to break that cycle and have it not come back. Now, a couple interesting things that happen is as that, that eustachian tube is a baby, it doesn't drain very well. As they grow, it ankles and drains better. That's why as we get older, we tend to have less ear infections. And when we have less ear infections, because we naturally have better draining and that tube is opened up some. But at any stage, any age, people can have problems with that. So give us a call at Brighton Chiropractic, 734-455-4444. You can go to our website, brightonchiropractic.com. You can check that out. Uh, and, of course, uh, if you're on Facebook, you can go to our Facebook page, uh, Brighton Chiropractic on Facebook. Lots of ways to connect. Just directly call our office, and we'll get you scheduled in. Have a super healing day, and look forward to helping you and your children stay happy and healthy as possible with, with less drugs, less surgeries, and less illness. Have a great day.